Well, hello there. Who you want to hear all about the pro-slavery movement, eh? No, no, down here. I'd let him tell it, but his version would probably be a little biased. This guy feeds me and provides me shelter, so I love him and all, but to be honest, he's kind of a racist. He owns 20 or so slaves, that's right, he owns people. I'm not really even okay with him owning me. Anyway, he's not alone. Slave labor is the backbone of the South's economy. Even if that backbone is constantly sore and in need of a good solid tweak at a chiropractor's office. But the nation's produce has to be farmed by someone, and this dude certainly isn't going to get his hands dirty. I just got my nails done. Of course, he can't pay his slaves a percentage of the profits, first of all because they wouldn't be slaves anymore, and second because why cut into your profit margin if you don't have to? These guys have to keep working for you one way or another, and it sure is nice to be able to buy fancy dresses for the missus and order the heck out of stuff from Amazon.com. So, how does he sleep at night, other than loudly? Well, for one thing, he justifies his actions by relying on the word of the Bible, like where it gives examples of slavery and teaches that slaves should respect their masters.